Hi guys, in the name of Jesus, how are you doing? It's your girl Cran K. Gikarabo. I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy. I hope you're Stella. And I hope you're in a neat little bunch. If that's the case, then what a difference a day made. 24 little hours. From yesterday, right? Anyway. Right, oh, let me just put some captions out there. Not captions, caveats. Uh, first one, I think I'm wearing, I am definitely wearing app makeup. Uh, so if it bounces up and down like a bouncy baby, it's an app. Secondly, I am also struggling with my captions. They're not always accurate, so have mercy on that. They also are irreverent. They use a small G for God sometimes, and that's not kosher. Uh, also, my silence detector every so often takes out some of my words and I'm not cool with that. So uh, watch out for that flying kick. But uh, generally everything else is capturable. Everything else is kind of audible and you're cool. We're out of the way with that. Y'all, I have made a decision once and for all to just share the rave reviews of this product that I am using. Not the rave reviews, but what product it is that I am using because I am convinced that it works. One minute. I have a skincare regimen and we are gonna share it. Guys, I'm not happy with the prospect of like going back to wigs and stuff. I'm quite content with my natural hair. So when it starts to get old, this is what we're doing. Mm. But when I start to treat my hair, like as in put stuff in it and whatnot, it's gonna get like super frizzy. So let me not speak too soon. I might actually use my wigs some days, but we are not certain. If I'm looking up there, have mercy. Yet another caption, shall I put it out there? It is because I'm doing edits. It's Sunday, the 29th of October. October. So because I only do chatting videos on the weekends, I sometimes just take my merry time and then before I am where I am happy to be by the time evening arrives, which it currently is, it's 1912, 12 minutes past 7, I am so behind and backlogged on weekends with uploads that I'm just not uploads but edits that I realize that Karabo don't play with fire because tomorrow's Monday so please. Anywho, anyhow, uh, so if I'm looking up there, it's only because I'm busy doing my edits alongside chatting. I've made a decision to share the secret to whatever's going on with my face because I feel like we have arrived at a solution. So I told you guys that I bought, I purchased some a very cheap product that is like treasure in jars of clay. I spoke about that in the session of chats that is labeled or titled why is it not even here cheap cream clearing my skin at bullet speeds kind of reminds me of god's flex with christians i was like only when it's done doing its job am i going to share it with you because i wasn't really sure what under heaven was in it and whether or not this is good for me and i was basically going out on a limb and taking a risk with a product that could destroy my life or not until this morning when i noticed that it is still doing whatever under heaven it is doing uh, I decided that I'm gonna research the product even further and so it's made me decide to come and share plus I've got about two or three new bouts of acne and these three two or three new bouts of acne are on my face just like mm, like one there it's very small nothing hectic and also another one over there um yeah and the reason why they're there is because this product there's so little of it in the little tabiki that it comes in because I was running out and it's only the 29th, so it's not yet the end of the month and I don't yet have my 500 mega rands to go and purchase what I need. I wanted to take it a little bit farther, so I mixed it with my toner uh, to, you know, make it a little bit more liquid, less sticky and then apply less of it on my face. And upon doing that, I broke out. So it has basically proved not I <clears throat> Upon using less of it, the past few days I've been using, okay, first I started out just applying a small, a smaller amount of the product on my face, barely covering all of my face, barely getting it on there. I was already using not even a pea sized amount, but a small amount. And then I reduced that amount so that, so as to spread the product all the way to the end of the month, given that I was using it twice a day. I made a decision to apply less of it on my face so it could, you know, little of it go a longer way. 
and I, I started to not break out I mean break out is a heavy word but I got like a threatening pimple underneath my chin over here nothing heavy it wasn't one of those big pussy ones that usually afflict me but it was there where I've been given reprieve from acne ever since starting this product and I started this product believe you me just in the run-up to my period and I never got acne hormonal acne issues around my period so this product is just like a super star but I am not using it in isolation I will say that there are meds that I'm taking what do you call this thing it, um uh, what do you call this thing some hormonal balancing treatment meds that were recommended to me at Dischem so I do believe it is a combination uh, however they ha there is a marked difference from the date that I started using this product with how with acne breakouts daily versus not I just suddenly stopped getting acne when I started using this topical product so it's a combination a, a recommendation that I got from Dischem alongside this so I am a Christian everybody knows that hallelujah let's praise the Lord for my salvation and I also just so happen to be a persecuted Christian so I'm suffering I don't have very much to myself and my testimony is beneficial to people who are struggling in this world just like me to get the best things in life are free yeah but to get the best things in life that aren't free yeah uh, like people will out you in these streets just neglect you abandon you to lose your swagger your your street cred your face they will just watch you wither away just because you serve Jesus and and tell you uh, deal with your own acne whatever I was born now uh, and leave you in the street so I am here to counsel or help women who are being ransacked the living daylights out of by some pretty licentious human beings by bad men that want to be like oh I will buy you dermatological visit if you just love me sweet and tender love me tender love me sweet bugger be rocking up all up in your girl with that nasty sentence and you like oh but I'm in Christ and he's like but I don't care because you are broke and you've got so much acne so even though you don't want to love me tender today and love me sweet tomorrow you are gonna get over yourself lady with a breaking voice mm. given that that's a thing uh, I'm trying to help women basically just keep themselves in a bunch and not neat together 100% just absolutely beside themselves with joy and splendor uh, despite having nobody and nothing and just basically like five rands to your name uh, on a budget I'm trying to help you clear your skin especially if you're like a rabo headed for you know old age and what have you so you are trying to like handle aging with acne if you like carabo because you also get acne at an old age yeah and there's some bugger outside of your house on some love me tender love me sweet and even though you're like but i'm christian and you are not saved and you also are into witchcraft so no thank you and he's like oh, i don't care because you are baroque and your skin is cracking you're getting older -y. so let me buy you the retinol That stuff gotta stop. Yeah, so I'm here to just help them females along. One minute. I want you guys to understand that it is absolutely feasible, 100% for you to get yourself looking great. And we're gonna embark on this journey together. My skin is not 100% corrected, but it is unroot there and it's gonna glow in front of you. And as it glows, you're gonna remember this video. You're gonna remember I helped you along on a crazy budget. This here budget is going to be handling, ransacking, uh, frankly, just decimating your hyperpigmentation. It's going to be dealing with your aging, concerns your fine lines your wrinkles all of those father creepers is my name and i'm creeping on your foot whoa stop father creeper and simone grooves y'all that tells you how old i am whatever i am 39 it's a thing okay righto and right is so we're gonna be ransacking hyperpigmentation 
uh, that's all up in your grill, whatever that hyperpigmentation might be. Be it Chewbaba, otherwise known as Cloasma, because love me tender, love me sweet. Made you experiment with all different kinds of strange creams on your face until you got the Chewbaba. The Chewbaba are caused by hormonal issues in your body. Sometimes because of pregnancy, you might get the Chewbaba. But a lot of like ladies in the black community are just naughty girl, naughty little girl, experimenting with some strange creams on the market that then give you Chewbaba. So that would be cloasma or what do you call this? Um, it's it's cloasma melasma essentially just like that the patchy random stuff that happens around your cheeks because you that nine month pregnant lady or you that irresponsible female on only busy got creamy aren't you in these streets so that's uh, hyperpigmentation is gonna be dealing with that or if you're like arabo struggling violently with acne at like 39 okay oh looky that's fine I'm editing in the background, y'all, so if I'm looking away, please, I will ultimately walk as just you. Yeah, we're gonna be dealing with anything at all that is hyperpigmentation. We're gonna be dealing with anti-aging, hallelujah. We are going to be dealing with acne at all. So, like, combo violence. On a violent budget, without needing to see a dermatologist, without also needing uh to spare to break bank and this is only because it's worked for me it has taken a minute it has been trial and error but i am almost certain not almost pretty certain that this time around i have arrived i have arrived i have arrived i'm there you guys at last at last my skin has got everything it needs Given that I'm an older lady Nonetheless with young lady issues Like acne Oh, so I gotta deal With anti-aging and acne at the same time And here we are in a sort of a heaven for i have at last handled it all on very little budget and no dermatologist i do however highly recommend that you go see yourself a dermatologist girl if you can if you got that money do that rada but for the broke ladies that got father creeper is my name crawling on your face like a spider yeah no because you're broke you have no money and he's trying to get you to be unequally yoked with an unbeliever and you are out here in these streets trying to honor god but this guy's like a violent threat to that particular conviction you get to shop i am got quick current because even on your budget you still popping you still cracking a whip you still kicking it you still murdering it because oh, ah. murder you wrote mm. Given that the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force, you be out on some murder I wrote, murder I wrote, yeah, yeah. Cause the murder I'm doing is on my face, look at me looking all plump. Hey, budget. All these products, thankfully, even if you are not in the South Africa, um, if you are not in the, the Rodipot, sorry, maybe you might need to be in the South Africa, but whatever. Yeah, they can be acquired on Take A Lot, and there are reviews available on Take A Lot, and they are responsible cosmetically uh, by boards of the nation that basically govern or regulate skincare so you're safe you're not about aja in these streets to go on right ahead and plonk massacre your face butcher your skin mm, with mercury or something like that and i'm saying because you are just trying to make like hanging bow ah, ah girls yes and it's all right to be dark chocolate it's okay to be a black girl killing it kicking it in these streets and then butchering it Mm. Massacring it afterwards, chopping it up into pieces, cremating it, and then burying it. It's proper okay to kill it as a black girl. Like, leave your skin be because I don't trust. Skin whitening. Skin lightening. 
I don't trust it. I feel like it takes away the black girl edge of aging like a vampire. I feel like it takes it away. This cream, I also do imagine it is feasible for anybody else that's not black. Why, why, why? Because there was a white looking colored lady at the Chinatown that owned a particular store that swore by this product too. So uh, basically what I'm trying to get at is that this is likely feasible advice for all females across the races, but as a, a, a black woman, uh, these particular challenges, so these areas, these environments tend to be frequented by us, right? These uh, lowly environments, they tend to be frequented by us. So if as a white lady, Chica, you was prepared to be hopping around in that ecosystem, girl, do you? But like I said, they're available on take a lot. And so far as you're in South Africa, not really sure if you're outside of the nation what's going on over there. But I frankly swear by them, I do. And I imagine that this is going to help you along. And I am a female right now that is currently fasting. All right. I'm sorry if I'm distracted, guys. I probably am like trying to do two things at the same time because I am behind. I am behind. Okay. Yeah. No. The, I, I'm fasting. And every time I fast, shut in Hatton in a minute. Shut in Hatton in a minute. That would have, under normal circumstances, taken 10 years. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just suddenly get unexpected answered prayer or unexpected enablement and I'm like oh and here it is that I had stopped believing in fasting so I believe that the enablement in this particular regard is because my fast is out here kicking a butt honk okay my fast is working because I prospered to purchase even contingencies extras and that which I've always just kind of wanted because due to the fact that I you know I managed to soften up an ecosystem that was under normal circumstances quite hardened and that ecosystem purchased a bulk do you understand of what i imagine i'm going to be able to use and time is going to clarify proof make it clear evidence put it out there that oh la moon do she's so blessed uh, she can't be so blessed though when she's busy walking around bro how are you blessed and cursed at the same time? I'll tell you how. When you're living in a nation, oh, 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 that thoroughly thinks it's a curse to be poor because they don't read the Bible. They don't read the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And so they think if you suffer and stutter a galen, oh, you ain't got no God on your side. When the Bible rather made it clear that Many are the afflictions of the righteous But the Lord delivers them from them all, yeah Ooh. Okay, we're done singing yeah, the scriptures make it clear that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from them all. So it's completely heresy to anticipate a Christian ought not suffer if they're a Christian at all. Um, so therefore, I'm not cursed. I can't possibly be cursed. Why? Because I'm blessed. Why? Because I am not walking in the counsel of the wicked, nor standing in the way of sinners, nor sitting in the seat of scoffers. And my delight is on the law of the Lord. And on his law, I meditate day and night. So I am obviously like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in a season. And in all that I do, I prosper. Hello. Because that's what Psalm 1 has to say about blessedness. So gauge and gaze not upon a persecuted soul and imagine them cursed what makes you cursed is when you are walking in folly and ever indefinitely without ever turning away from it on that day you're headed to hell oh cursed soul do a better thing see you not that you are hurting your own machine inside thine own body do it do it do better do better i said do better Mm. So yeah, cursedness is essentially just kind of not trying to pay attention to what God is saying. Not so much suffering, because that's a little bit of a guarantee for Christians. If anybody wants to live a life in godliness, they will suffer persecution. Oh, that's in the Bible. You betcha. Mm. 
Yeah, so the script is kind of guaranteed that we're gonna go through literally way too much at any given time. But we're gonna be delivered from them all, yeah. So stop thinking Rabiosha nonsense all at the same time, because frankly, one is enough in one ecosystem. It's either Rabiosh or nonsense. It can't be both. Because God will give you grace and amnesty for just one. Like proper, you only get one ticket. You only get one little mercy. Everything else is just a deliberate and blatant disregard for the mercy that you've been given. So choose between Rabiosha and nonsense. You don't get to do both, okay? Alrighty, you guys, I'm so distracted. Hey, so I want to highlight to them females out there that are struggling, suffering with skincare, that I've finally figured out the solution. And even though my skin leaves a lot to be desired today because it's not fully there, please go check out my videos from two to three days ago. Mm -hmm. And you will see that there is a difference. Go check out my videos from three to four days ago and you will see that there is a difference. Go check out my videos from six to seven days ago and you will see that there is a difference. Go check out my videos from two weeks ago. You will notice that there is a daily improvement and it's out of this world wacko like Michael Jackson. Mm. Day and night, you out here looking like a different human being altogether. That's a sister up in your grill. And I've decided that I'm gonna share this work because my fasts are working. Because I obviously am clearing my skin. I have finally arrived at a solution. We are happy with it and so we're gonna share. We're gonna share because sharing is caring. If you don't share, you aren't none. You don't dare. Ooh, I had to rhyme, guys. If you don't share, oh, how do you dare? Anyway, moving on. We're getting divided. I'd say now we're not doing it. Mmm. So you guys need to do a better thing uh, by by yourselves. Like take care of the vessel that belongs to like God Almighty. By the Holy Spirit to the dead, that put to death the deeds of the body. Do a better thing. Do a better thing. Yeah. And stop commenting random guys, cause they gonna be out here in these streets taking you to a dermatologist when your skin is all broken. Aye. Stop it. Stop dating rough, rough, nasty. Stop dating just about anything. Stop doppering things on the floor. We to refill we sooner. Ooh, ever to more life things. Stop it. We don't like it. Don't nobody dig. But you doing it. Stop it. Tlhelangujola rough, rough. Stop being with guys just cause you's lonely. Stop being with guys because you is watching another biological clock. Stop being with guys just cause oh goodness so gracious of me. Me I want the baby. Me I want the, 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 the fence that is picketed with the husband. What is the point of wanting the picket fence romance when it doesn't come your way because the individual in question that has given you that picket fence in and of himself leaves a lot to be desired. You want to be loved and only God can provide for you that which you need for lacking in nothing. Exceedingly and abundantly above anything at all you can ever ask to think for. Anything you can never think to ask, Jesus will give you press down, shaking together and running over, running over, running over until there is nothing left to do. Right, you guys? Yeah, so I'm actually trying to help them females wait on the Lord God Almighty. Otherwise, they call them like, oh, lo baba putwa, lo baba putwa, guys, you're gonna go all dry and ashy. And on that day, you're gonna wish you had purchased yourself some hyaluronic acid. You're gonna wish you done did it. You're gonna wish it. You're gonna wish it. But it's not gonna be working out for you now, is it? Ah. Mm. One minute. Stop second guessing God. That's basically what this is about. Okay, cool. Now that that is doing what it's doing absent of me having to you know look at it all the time let's get into this conversation guys i'm about to give you my skincare regimen i believe it's gonna i believe i'm pretty certain it's gonna work um and it is cheap it is a uh, non-prescription and it works it's effective i still would highly recommend that people go see dermatologists i have uh, suffered trial and error and i say suffer because trial and error is quite onerous uh, due to the fact that you keep making mistakes you keep tripping it up a storm and then you ultimately pass the test and when then you've passed the test by the time you've passed the test your skin has seen some pretty rough days one minute i do not know what worked for my face okay uh due to the fact that the first time ever that i ever went to a dermatologist to clear acne it was after getting off the contraceptive pill 
and I noticed that I got bumps on my face too many of them for me to just be comfortable with I never had a problem with acne as a teenager not too much I had one or two spots here and there but nothing that made me feel like if I don't go see a dermatologist my life would be over it was precisely because of going on the contraceptive pill that I suddenly got a problem with acne so my issue with acne was frankly largely in my adult years so I first saw a dermatologist for the first time ever in my life after getting off the contraceptive pill following coming to Christ because I stopped taking the pill because I didn't need to anymore and I got this like hard knock all over my face infestation the dermatologist prescribed for me typically what it is that it tends to be prescribed for acne Roaccutin I was on a, a vitamin A derivative called isotretinoin otherwise known as Roaccutin I was on it for six months and by the amazing alarmingly glorious grace of God it kept my skin clear after I got off it for five whole years so I would recommend that a person goes to see a dermatologist and get on prescription because you could find yourself just walking Da daintily in a you know valley hopping around like a kangaroo with no acne for years after seeing an actual dermatologist you won't have to struggle with the trial and error that you tend to struggle with because trial and error can leave you with scarring if you try to do this thing on your own DIY acne care proper you might end up with permanent scarring and have to endure interventions against such scarring as that that could be very costly and would endure your skin through a lot more hardship and you through a lot more emotional turmoil than is absolutely necessary so if you've got the money then by all means go however i am speaking to people right now women i'm trying to reach them for christ so that they don't settle they don't compromise in bad relationships with men uh because of just wanting to quickly just eradicate your life from sorrow and suffering and so therefore just letting anybody come and take care of you don't even let that like happen there is a whole phenomenon an issue with horrible men bewitching women out of prosperity making it hard for them to get jobs and be okay just so they can come and rescue the day they want to be like rubble base spider-man they probably want to rock up like superman or whatever some kind of a meta human and rescue you when frankly the one who rescued you was jesus and you don't need a male like a human savior what you need is fellowship with human beings that understand God Almighty's prescriptions for us all what he expects us to do and so when a person understands that fellowship between human beings is not the tantamount of partaking in the worthless deed of making out of yourself a deity to a person that they might feel like they can't breathe nor live without you unacceptable and there are men who are involved in dark magic that are actively trying to make women unable to breathe and live without them when the scriptures make it clear that it is in you that i live and move and have my being the you of which in question is jesus christ yes in you i live in you i move in you i have my being that's in the acts of the apostles but there are men who are trying to take that place of jesus christ so cease and desist from doing such a thing as that and empower yourself to survive on whatever bare minimum God will give you until such time that he gives you breakthrough until he awards you actual breakthrough uh, that is from above and from the father of heavenly lights and so therefore a tantamounts as a good and a perfect gift gift since the scriptures say every good and perfect gift is from above and from the father of heavenly lights wait for that right but in the run-up to waiting for that the lord will give you just what you need like the bare minimum and the bare minimum is it tends to be very you know extremely minimum exactly just like the word suggests uh, so you have to be frugal you have to be in industrious you have to be thrifty you have to find your way around these markets and the thing about finding your way around these markets is it often functions or operates as training for women so as to not exasperate the budgets or the pockets of their husbands once the lord ultimately marries them off because it is entirely responsible and admirable in the sight of god for a woman to basically consider a field and buy it it is one of the characteristics of the proverbs 31 woman she is a lady who looks at the market considers the market and then buys she doesn't just splurge she doesn't just spend she doesn't just go for the most expensive product on the shelf so if you've been trained thriftiness and frugality you on that day have learned an excellent skill because resources on this earth are be albeit being very abundant there is a lot of greed there is a lot of rapacity on the part of human beings and we are to you know disperse them or scatter them amidst the human race in an egalitarian fashion recognize the importance of sharing recognize the import the the the, the, the character flaw in wastage 
that is seen also by the God of the universe and also recognize the importance of generosity to others who might need your particular maverick spend. Yeah, that you just easily splurge out there. There are individuals that need that money. They need that ability. So uh, ever lending, be generous perpetually. That is the righteous man for you. So the way that you make yourself one that is ever lending, ever giving is by being frugal. So you have money to give to those who are in need. You got to train yourself a character that enables others out there to ultimately benefit from your frugality. So when you are poor, do not imagine God is just leaving you all up in that gangster joint just cause or whatever it's always painful a lot of times no it's not about just sitting in it out just because god can do it indeed he's in the heavens he does whatever he pleases but you must also remember that he is loving so he's not going to just like lamb baste you with poverty just for the sake of it use that poverty to learn through frugality i was not historically frugal i just used to buy the most expensive product on the market or whatever it is that i just felt i would just like literally and when i was at a discount i would take all the stuff on the shelves and just throw it into my trolley without even looking that is not a wise spender at all uh, but I have had to learn wise spending and when I get out of this squalor, this opulent squalor, I will not stop my frugal deeds because I will have benefited successfully from that frugality to gain for myself very efficacious, very effective that frankly, why would I want to go back to something that is expensive and label? That's it. But it does not actually have the same level of efficacy. About two days ago, I did a video where I was talking about some skincare cream that cleared my skin at the speed of lightning and it's cheap and it reminds me of the body of Christ which I treasure in jars of clay. Uh, I, I made mention in that video that nothing has worked for me at the way that this particular cream did, yet it was cheap, underestimated, completely ignorable, microscopic, infinitesimal in the lives of certain human beings with certain lifestyles who are in a certain echelon group of society. They would never even look at it. Uh, but I looked at it because I was made a lowly woman and and it slays literally all the products on the market that I've ever tried in this regard. So it's worth the while to try it out. And I will highly recommend it. Having done my research, the last leg of the research of which was today. So back in the day, after getting off Roaccutane, the dermatologist put me on... Uh, what do you call this thing? He he put me on, after Roaccutane, he put me on something called the BD uh, protocol, otherwise known as the Benzoyl Peroxide slash Differin protocol. That was before the innovation by excellent biochemists of a product called Epiduo. Otherwise, he would have just put me on Epiduo. Epiduo of which is a mix, a combination of adapalene and Benzoyl Peroxide. Uh, and Epiduo, the one that the dermatologist, not dermatologist, but the GP recommend prescribed to me was was on not not point two five um percent no not not point two five sorry five two point five percent with um adapalene being at zero point is it three or zero point zero three uh above zero point one percent of adapalene you need a prescription in this country so it had to be a prescription item however benzoyl peroxide five percent and lower and i believe even 10 percent and lower is non-prescription in this country but it's near on impossible to find 10 percent 10 percent benzoyl peroxide in south africa unless you go for the oxy product which is substandard in quality i would imagine because of how harsh it is on the skin uh, to the galderma product benzoyl peroxide is okay if you're still young if you still got quite a fervent amount of melanin not melanin but collagen production all up in your grill but i don't think it's that great once you get a little bit older there are dermatologists who beg to differ with this and say apply moisture 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 but i've never really had qualms with moisture in my life despite having very oily skin i've always loved to have a glow uh, I, I i always like to fake glass skin and dewy complexion by just clobbering lots of moisture on my face uh, and yet despite that i suffered quite a lot of trauma with benzoyl peroxide trauma is a heavy word but you know i can be high hyperfluous sometimes superfluous like yeah i can hyper i can hyperbolize stuff i can exaggerate because i am quite the artist and explanations i do adore including the use of just super terms so the dermatologist put me on the equivalent or tan amount of epiduo but this time around it was not so much epiduo in one bottle but it was benzoyl peroxide with adapalene uh the product was called differin right and, and it was at the time 0.03 so i had to get it by prescription i could because i had money i was working i was on medical aid it, it was taken off medical aid but the benzoyl peroxide was over the counter the 
my face stayed relatively healthy clear afterwards i don't know whether or not the ra ro accutane by itself uh did all that wonderful work to keep my skin clear for five years with no qualms no issues no breaking out or whatever or if it was the post like medication care that worked i'm not really sure what was going on but i do know that my skin stayed spotlessly clear for a, a whole good five years afterwards because of the bd protocol but at the same time that i, I had been taken off row Accutin, i also was busy losing my job and everything so i was ultimately not able to get the different prescription during the time when i was on the bd pro protocol otherwise known as a dapoline with benzoyl peroxide i would use the benzoyl peroxide um first for a couple of days every single day and then i would add a uh, uh, different one day two days three days and then it would start to burn on my face and that's when i would have to stop and then take a break from the different and then carry on with the benzoyl peroxide however and then go on the different again after another two weeks or whatever and i did this for a prescribed se se season of time until i had to stop because i couldn't afford anymore to purchase the different because i lost my job and medical aid and all that jazz so i stayed on nothing but benzoyl peroxide so that became what i used i never used to use sunscreen or anything of that nature all i used to use was i just washed my face with whatever face wash that i just kind of picked up out here in these streets if anything i used the face wash that came was prescribed by the dermatologist so it was something by cetaphil some and non-foaming sort of kind of like yeah regular yeah no surfactants and stuff yeah some cetaphil um face wash that i also had to stop using because of the fact that it became too expensive for me to afford so i started utilizing whatever of a face wash was around it, it didn't really matter i wasn't pedantic um as long as it was not just regular good old-fashioned soap I was using that face wash and I was price sensitive so I made sure that it I, like it had to be cheap mm. so I used some face wash doesn't matter what it was benzoyl peroxide right uh, sorry and then I would apply I did not know how, what how to layer and the dermatologist never gave me the counsel either so at the time I used to merely apply is this working okay at the time I used to just simply I used to put on I would wash my face and then I would moisturize and then I would put benzoyl peroxide on top the best practice is rather to put benzoyl peroxide or whatever skin treatment you have um, especially considering it is a gel the one by gel derma and then only apply a thicker moisturizer because you have to put more water, like whatever is water-based that's what you have to apply first and then something that has an oil in it or an emollient then only go on top but despite putting my benzoyl peroxide on top of my emollient or my moisturizer the moisturizer of was which of which was also nothing special it was just whatever was in the house aquas cream bah. put that on um, and then I would put benzoyl peroxide and my mom would also put at least inside aqueous cream i think it might have helped because aqueous cream is sort of kind of low-key water-based but it does have mineral oil in it so it would have been best practice to first put the benzoyl peroxide and then the aqueous cream but i it just it still worked it still worked it kept my skin clear uh there would be times when i would have no money and so unable to purchase benzoyl peroxide and my skin would be clear but there came a time somewhere along the way where if, if upon having no money and so unable to purchase the benzoyl peroxide i then now was dealing with breakouts all over my face and these breakouts would come after stopping benzoyl peroxide for maybe like two to three weeks and i would be very saddened but the moment i would go back to benzoyl peroxide my skin would clear immediately so benzoyl peroxide is a tried and tested product for my acne it has never stopped helping me along it's always been excellent but it started to do another thing it started to break my heart in another regard and that's what made me actively start embarking on a journey to get to my skin issues all of them and i made a decision that no matter what i'm going to find a way around benzoyl peroxide what did benzoyl peroxide do as i got older one minute guys as i got older uh with the benzoyl peroxide i started to notice that while i had no acne on my face i, I did let you guys know in one of my other videos where i was talking about skin that I live in a very hot environment that's barely ventilated it's like being a baker that's always around heat all right around ovens people like these age fast and this environment has made my challenges with skin even worse because i'm always in this like sauna like environment it's very hot and so when an environment is hot like that your pores are going to yawn do you understand they're going to open up making a uh, like you're at the dentist and you are going to have challenges with just the overall 
aesthetic appearance of your face your texture is going to leave a lot to be desired and i started to notice that my pores were yawning and it was especially disturbing when i was like daylight you know natural lighting especially in the bathroom in the morning where the sun is piercing through the window and i'm like i've just woken up and i'm looking in the mirror puffy eyed and everything and i've just got these yawning pores that i can see i've got a bad eyesight i'm farsighted right that's what it's called when you can't see properly far when you can't read far mm. so my skin tends to be less textured when i'm at a distance from the mirror just based on my own eyesight because everything gets blurry the farther away i get from it so my skin looks super perfect when i'm far from the mirror but when i get really close it's nasty there was a time when my pores were so yawning they were so big that i could see my pores even at a distance from the mirror despite my bad eyesight and so therefore it was even worse when i got closer and it broke my heart because that's not how i remembered my skin that was the first like tase of age on my face it happened when i was around 37 i'm 39 now so two years ago that's when i started to notice these gawking yawning and incendiary pores because they frankly had power to burn me in hell the way that they broke my heart I, I i couldn't deal i couldn't handle i couldn't i like it was just not okay whatever under heaven was trying to happen on my face we were gonna combat it we were gonna fly and kick it like it's kickboxer and i'm jean-claude van damme but i did not know what in the world to do how to tackle this where to even start from yeah so i was very unhappy with that and intrinsically deep down inside i sort of kind of low-key suspected benzoyl peroxide but i wasn't sure i suspected benzoyl peroxide i started researching on youtube therefore what in the world under heaven is going on with large pores what to reduce them a lot yeah with also acne my acne i would get off the acne there was a time when i was not able to afford benzoyl peroxide and i was off it for something like a month and the acne came back and it was really wreaking havoc in my life and when i went back to the benzoyl peroxide my acne would clear but not like as clearly as it had before so I, I was still getting bumps here and there and i was like why is the benzoyl peroxide not doing what it used to before is it because i was over roaccutin so i was thoroughly planning one day in the future to go back again on a second dose of roaccutin to just get restart my body again so that i can be curbed from acne and just need to use benzoyl peroxide alone but i eventually reached a conclusion a conviction that benzoyl peroxide was responsible for my yawning pores and that even though it is really excellent at clearing acne it is still causing aging in me in a way that i don't quite respect i managed by the grace of god oxy m m found 10 it manufactured in this country 10 percent benzoyl peroxide all along we'd only been dealing with galdermas five percent and if you wanted 10 percent, you would have to order it online from the us or whatever for them to bring it here and i mean of course who in the world is trying to pay all of those fees so i had to like just settle for five percent until ultimately oxy started making 10 percent benzoyl peroxide and i bought it and indeed it cleared my skin every Thing just left me it fled from my face all that acne now that i was on 10 percent benzoyl peroxide but with the oxy like scar not scar treatment sorry but benzoyl peroxide more so did my pores start to yawn it got worse so i basically gained conviction that benzoyl peroxide is okay for acne when collagen production is still quite hefty in your body when you are still young when you are a teenager or a, a young adult it's okay but when you get to a certain age and you've got adult acne benzoyl peroxide you should probably stay clear from it because it's going to give you another issue it'll deal with your acne but it will give you another problem and that will be that you're going to basically lose the youthful splendor of your face it's gonna fly out the window uh, because your pores are yawning so you're gonna look older as a result of that and it's gonna make your skin texture nasty so i then made a decision to drop benzoyl peroxide i told myself that i don't care how bad my acne gets i'm gonna battle this i'm gonna combat it i'm gonna get to it i'm gonna study my own face until i find out what is going on over here i am going to study until i am satisfied wholeheartedly with what is happening and uh well essentially i made my own face then a, a blank canvas and i also made my own face and my own uh, uh, skin care i made myself a guinea pig and i knew that i'm broke i'm poor i can't afford to go to a dermatologist so what i'm gonna do is basically diy and so I, I i really started to sit down and concentrate essentially go to some you know low-key youtube school across multiple estheticians dermatologists and uh, lay janes and joes that nonetheless have a lot of knowledge on skincare 
and I'm gonna watch and sit down and hear what they have to say. And they, 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 they are different school of schools of thought concerning the aging nature of benzoyl peroxide. Some dermatologists say that yes, to a certain extent, it does age you, but use moisture. They always say, insofar as you're very heavily moisturized, benzoyl peroxide shouldn't afflict you. Uh, but I, I was all up in that moisture business. There was a time when I was applying too much moisture, so much actually that I would shine, like I would be kind of greasy on my face the way I, I was using so much moisture. I would go in with a with like a moisturizer and then an occlusive and the occlusives that i was using were things like goodness good okay they were, like there was okay it was like the, the, uh, so you can understand the level of moisture i would put on i would put on a moisturizer then i would put on coconut oil or tissue oil on top and then like a, a layer of just in the a thin film of vaseline to make sure that i'm like really thoroughly sealed in and my pores were still yawning so given how much benzoyl peroxide i what i would imagine to thinned my skin i was entirely dissatisfied i was like it's only a matter of time before thanks to benzoyl peroxide i then start to see fine lines wrinkles because it's fast tracking a process that i frankly cannot afford to be fast tracked especially considering where am i going what am i doing what do i have i ain't got no kids i ain't got no husband i can't afford to lose my face not yet uh so i saw i, I took it to the lord in prayer I took it to the Lord in prayer. I pray about everything. So of course I prayed about this. And the Lord then embarked me on a journey of trial and error. And initially I was very frustrated, imaginative of the fact that God should have just given me an answer. Because I don't want to be with acne. I don't want to deal with acne issues. But it has finally gotten me to this point where after all that research, I am now able to give what I would imagine to be handsome advice to people. Good advice that is not going to mess them up and also break bank because I've done my research. But like I said, number one for everybody is a doctor. Number one for everybody is an actual dermatologist or even a GP. You got to see a specialist that has gone to med school and everything or even an esthetician uh, for your skincare needs. Estheticians of which cannot prescribe products to you. So essentially you need to go to a doctor, a whole qualified medical professional first and foremost, if you can afford to. So I'm giving advice right now to people who are on a violent budget who can't afford to go and see a doctor because it's always first price to see a doctor because they can permanently deal with issues that might take you trial and error to deal with thanks to my trial and error i have got all this hyperpigmentation on my face uh, even though i had at some point cleared so therefore i gave myself the risk of scarring on my face as well just to get off benzoyl peroxide all i could have done was just go back on benzoyl peroxide i could have just done that i could have just gone back to benzoyl peroxide because i was freaking out at all the acne i was getting uh but i stuck to my guns and ultimately it paid off so i use I, I basically used my face as a blank canvas and a risk I, i'm a guinea pig and just recently i was crying and complaining about the concern that i have about ice pick scarring ice pick scarring that i would need extra interventions like laser resurfacing like never mind derma rolling or derma stamping but some pretty expensive stuff that i currently don't have money for like chemical peels and stuff just to deal with the scarring so i put myself in a position to struggle with permanent acne scarring but i stuck to my guns and i found a product that dealt even with that it dealt even with my fear of ice pick scarring of basically those pitted scars that you can see them uh, you know especially when a person is reflected against the sun you can just see that this person used to have a problem with acne i was very worried about that and even that's getting dealt with so really this i imagine is a product that is worth a while to recommend because of the fact that it has in a very short space of time dealt with everything but it's a combination of things that i'm doing and i will tell you everything that i am doing and considerations as well for changing product hauls essentially that which i intend to change because of being unable to afford to maintain certain other habits given that take a lot is actually trying to charge me 70 rand delivery fee and i don't have the 70 bucks but i can always drive to a certain environment plus i believe i found a better product so i will let you know what i am replacing and what however i will be maintaining and keeping up with uh that will also help you if you don't have access to internet and so therefore cannot purchase online or if you don't trust the internet you can go to a physical geographical location to buy these things if at all you live in volkajewel of johannesburg or anywhere in south africa where they've got like a china mod beauty store you're probably going to find this going on so yeah allow me to just then get into this thing i ditched the benzoyl peroxide and i started to research anti-aging treatments on my face that are also going to be anti-acne 
because I've got these double whammy issues. So if you've only got anti-aging, this will still work for you. And if you've only got acne, it'll also work for you. If you've got both just like me, it'll work for you. All right. Uh, and it'll work phenomenally. We are going to make observations of these changes on my face as time progresses. But there are enough changes for you guys to believe me. All you got to do is just watch videos from five days ago to see the difference on my face. I will be showing you my products, what I'm gonna be flipping over, what I'm gonna be changing, what I have been using, and I'm gonna tell you how long I've been using it and how long it took for me to see results, how long it took for um, the, the, the skincare regimen that I am on now has succeeded to close my pores. Unfortunately, however, with the closing of my pores was not the eradication of my acne. So I found myself with this beautiful looking skin where I had no acne, but I had acne everywhere else. And so I did not like that. I liked the texture of my skin because of these interventions, but I, I did not like the fact that I had acne. So I prospered to close my pores and I, I believe I intervened quickly enough for the closing of the pores to happen quite quickly. And I will let you guys know what I believe has worked for the closing of my pores. They are back to what it is that they were when I was in my 20s like nice and refined so don't necessarily believe it when people say that nothing can ever close your pores or close the size of the pores or reduce them that is not true it is entirely untrue there are products on the market that i've tried and tested by people out there as well as me so it's anecdotal evidence we get it but uh because doctors don't want to stand so fast and hard on the declaration that pores can be closed or the rest of us who provide anecdotal evidence we are the human race and tests and trials are they, they get done on us and so our feedback is what doctors eventually put in in peer reviews and studies it's just that some of us are yet to be you know covered by actual doctors to a point of reaching conclusions that are sound in their sight and so they run with them but you can take anecdotal evidence indeed with a pinch of salt in your stride coming from people with a word of mouth testimony if there are enough of them that swear by this and i'm among them i'm one of the people that swear by the fact that pores can be shrunk i swear by it i entirely swear by it right uh, whether or not people want to argue bottom line is i've seen it happen with me because my pores were so large as i said i could see them even though i've got bad eyesight from a distance from the mirror and the closer I got, it became even worse. And I felt like my life was over. Um, I mean, goodness, how am I going to lose everything, including the aesthetic appeal of my face? I don't have anything. Can I at least just keep my face? And God actually heard that prayer. In the next part, I am going to explain to you guys what I used now that you've gotten that history, how I found out what is essentially my miracle skincare drug or skincare treatment. For me as Garabo, right, it could be different for you. But this is what worked for me. Just like benzoyl peroxide worked for me in a way that salicylic acid did not. So too are these products what worked for me. And who knows, you might just have my blood type. You might just have my habits. You might just have my genetic um, compatibility. And so therefore likely respond similarly to me, right? It might not work the same for everybody across the board. Because like I said, at the end of the day, it is about seeing a dermatologist who is going to go and take your blood. He was going to go and do a patch test on you he's going to go and scan your skin and do all different kinds of tests that dermatologists do and then prescribe for you what it is that's good for you he's going to be able to do a hormone test and all those things on you to know exactly what to prescribe to you uh, so i am basically giving this counsel based on the fact that this is what worked for me and my internal makeup whatever's going on inside me and these interventions are so stellar they're so excellent in terms of how they worked for me that i don't even get acne around hormonal acne in other words around my period on these products not even around my period i know of a lot of women on the internet who are like yeah every so often you're gonna get a pimple when you when you are around your period and then i just deal with it when it comes i i remember even praying to god on some i don't even want that acne because it, it it's just such a chore to get rid of hyperpigmentation once it's already there the pimple is there for all of five seconds and the hyperpigmentation will sit around for four months i was like i don't even want that the acne that i get around my period because i don't want to have to deal with dark spots just perpetually i want clear skin and the Lord heard me. On benzoyl peroxide, I did not get any acne, not even on my period. So I know that topical treatments do work for me alongside interventions uh, that I ingest. But um, they, they work to a point where I can be entirely and completely delivered from acne. Entirely and completely. To a point of not even getting it when my stress levels spike. And also when my period 
and when you can find the combination that helps you basically look like you've never had a, a single ch challenge in your life with skin that for me is the best skincare that you can find yes there are people who say it's impossible to never get acne i feel like they're settling because i have experienced completely clear skin and for months on end not even seeing a single bump meaning that that is a possibility for everybody but you know yeah others got it better than others vice versa wada wada but given that i've got such bad acne prone skin i believe i am one to communicate on the rooftops such a feat as this a challenge or a prosperity as this to say that it is possible for someone with my kind of issues with skin to be free from acne even in the worst of times and in my next part i'm gonna go in right ahead and explain to you what is the thing that worked that that is for me the miracle ingredient that i believe is responsible for helping me replace benzoyl peroxide without the side effects of of benzoyl peroxide helping me basically get an anti-acne treatment without causing my pores to yawn let's move to the next part